Welcome to A House Around the Corner. I'm your host, Trisha Zima. We're at the Avenue Neighborhood House at Ely in Blackburn. This lovely organization blends modern training with a feel of community. With over a thousand participants coming through per week, they provide over 50 courses in local training. And of those, 5% are for accredited courses for those people wanting to obtain a diploma and move into new employment. But this Learn Local organization hasn't lost their community feel. They've brought together the children and the elderly through a beautiful program called Merry Melodies and Bridging the Gap. Kids lose contact with their grandparents and grandparents lose contact with their kids but they yearn for that bond. And the Avenue Neighborhood House has brought together those two groups to create great joy. Let's peek into the window of this house just around the corner. I'm Colleen Saunderson. I'm the manager at Avenue Neighborhood House at Ely. We're a registered training organization and also a learn local organization. The Merry Melodies program have been running here for quite a few years and it involves residents from local nursing homes. They come along every fortnight and have um, basically an old time sing along and we have volunteers who come along and uh, entertain. So we've got a pianist and we've got a couple of singers and it's just a lovely day uh, for the residents. They get a chance to hear the old time songs that mean so much to them. Out of the sing-along or the merry melodies, uh, we found that a lot of the women were strolling past our uh, childcare centre and interacting with the children and it was bringing a lot of joy to the uh, women's lives as well as to the children getting a chance to interact with older, more mature people in our community. So out of a discussion with the occupational therapist from Burwood Hills Nursing Home, we came up with the idea of actually having a regular program whereby the residents from the nursing home come and visit once a month and actually interact with the children, whether it be reading stories or singing songs or just watching the children play. And it's just been an enormous success. Uh, brings a lot of joy to the women who come. There's usually about five women and the children just really enjoy it as well and you can just see the happiness on all their faces. I think for the elderly residents they actually get a chance to interact in a positive way with young children and I think for some of them it brings back memories of when their children were, were very young and perhaps grandchildren and for some of the ladies unfortunately they don't see a lot of family so they don't get the, the chance to actually interact with young people. So I think it's um, a joy for them to actually have that chance and actually interact with them by reading and that sort of thing. So the ladies will talk to them about their experiences. Olive, who is one of the women that you spoke to, has got the most beautiful voice and was on stage years ago. So Olive is able to talk to them about those experiences and she sings with them 
So I think it's just adding a whole different dimension to their time here at, uh, at Avenue. How long have you been coming here, Olive? I don't know about here, but I've been at the theatre for many jobs. I have think... you? Oh, yes. Tell me what you like singing to the children. I think the most special thing is how the children come up to Olive especially. They come up to all the residents, but for Olive, she's singing and calling out and she's always got someone there, you know, as a rule. So uh, she just absolutely loves it. I think this program has just been something for her to look forward to. It definitely benefits any resident I can get who's come here over the time because I've brought different residents. Every one of them have loved it. Olive especially because she just loves children and it just really benefits her. But I think it benefits them because they don't get to see their grandchildren or their grandchildren have grown up and they all love little children. Oh my goodness. Oh. Hello, Baba. Hello, Baba. Hello, Baba. You love the children, Olive? Oh, yes, I do love them. I love them. And you love coming and singing with them? Yes. Okay, so what's special about coming to visit the children for you? Oh, just that it's nice to see them, their little faces light up sometimes, you know, when they want to see what's going on and that sort of thing. Yeah. Are you able to tell me what you enjoy the most out of coming to watching visit them? The yeah, yeah. Watch, yeah, watching them. It's true, they come around and, you know, and they watch them and they watch us, I think, too, so it's about the same thing. When the ladies first came, a couple are very outgoing and um, interacted straight away with the children. But a couple of the other women were very reserved and they sat back a bit. But we noticed by the second time that they came, they were more aware of what was going on and you could actually see them actually um, feeling more comfortable and actually really coming out of their shells, if you like. These were women who uh, are not overly verbal, but to actually see them interacting animatedly with the children was just really special. Yeah.